Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Kathleen, and I am here with um, one of maybe more than one um, videos about my design team project for April. I am kind of coming in under the wire, but that's kind of the way I roll sometimes. So this month, I'm using Strawberry Sunshine from Stacy Stories on Etsy. Stacy Belts is the designer, and she really outdid herself on this strawberry kit. Um, I What I had wanted to do was kind of, um, I will put this information down in the description like usual so that you can go check out her really fabulous kits. I'm, I'm really impressed with, with Stacy. She does a great job. So what I, my concept was I had wanted to do a spring journal because this is now spring and it's just feeling that way finally. Although we've had some blasts of cold, but I am anxious to, to feel a little bit more warm um, and have, you know, the sunshine in the winter is different than the sunshine in the spring. And it just feels more like spring and I'm hearing the birds sing and it's wonderful. Anyway, so here's the project. The project is a journal. It is um, for the, well, I don't know. I, I may put it up on Etsy just before that festival that I was talking about. The festival that I'm doing in June is at a, a museum, a living history museum near Santa Fe, just outside of Santa Fe. And um, we do this, my husband and I do this every year with, the sheep stuff wool and the, the wool clip that we get in the spring and fibery things and um but they also have a lavender festival in june and i have applied i i guess i am counting my chickens um but i'm hoping they will let me in um with my books so that's kind of what i'm preparing for i haven't heard back yet but I will be so disappointed <laughs> if they don't choose me. It's a juried show, so I I guess I shouldn't I shouldn't expect that that they will choose me, but uh, we'll hope. Anyway, it's it's a living history museum, and I want wanted to do some farming kinds of things, some gardening kinds of things because it's a it's a plant festival. So so I am using this beautiful strawberry kit from Stacy, but I'm doing it kind of um, like the others, the cereal box ones. This, however, is a medical file folder that I have used, and I really love it. I am going to do more of these because, and, and the color was just right. I'm not doing anything besides, you know, my usual collage on the front, but um, I'm not I don't need to do anything, you know, to the back. I've just put some paper across there, the spine, just to kind of make the spine something interesting. And then I've used these beautiful papers from, from the kit. This is this is a napkin decoupage. Anyway, I'm I'm not here to show you a flip through yet, but but to do the cover. Um but I do have pages in and ideas that I'm, you know, working on. So I am working in it. Um, but I want to do the cover today because I want to do the inside cover and I can't do that till I get the button on and all of that. So, um, it's two signatures, just this rounded spine, like the cereal box. And now I'm going to do a collage on the front. So here we go. Um, you have mentioned that I think I need to get a scrap paper to put behind. Let me find something in the trash. Good. Here's a, just a piece of paper from the trash. Because we need to kind of protect this. I guess I should hold it there. I'll just put that there. And then we'll begin. So, yeah, you mentioned, thank you so much for those of you who have responded. Um, 
to my last video, which I just, I really appreciate your feedback. I, I do. I apparently, okay, let me get on my tippy toes. Apparently you like, um, watching me do collage, which is, you know, lucky for me because that's what I like to do. <laughs> so I'm glad you like that. So I'm just going to do, it's kind of a complicated collage today, um, meaning that there's a lot of layers. Let me see where my little sketch is. Here it is. So sometimes I told you I take a picture, sometimes I just make a sketch, and sometimes, like this time, I just did a rubbing. After I had everything arranged, I did a rubbing, and then that will give me kind of just a general idea so that I kind of remember what comes next. I'm hoping that this medical file is going to be just a little bit, um, slightly more um, sturdy than the than the um, cereal box, and and then I won't maybe get quite so many wrinkles. One of the things I wanted to mention, so Karen and I had this conversation in the comments about, about um, what can go wrong, you know, with wrinkles. And one of the things that can go wrong with wrinkles is obviously when you don't get the air pushed out. But, but one of the other issues is when you use um, different weights of of paper. I mean, sometimes we have tissue and sometimes we have sturdier paper. Sometimes we have like almost like cardstock and um, that, that, yeah, it makes a difference. And I wanted um, to explain, in fact, let me just take a moment and I'll show you how the, how that other one turned out actually, because it did, it did kind of flatten out in the end. So you can see that the bubbles are way less than they were. But part of the problem was I had used Fabri-Tac on this layer, just like I have here on the back, which was fine. It, it glues the paper down fine to the file folder. I didn't think I was going to collage on it because I was just making a quick thing. Um, but I couldn't help myself in the end. And so then the problem was the Fabri-Tac doesn't spread out like the matte gel or Mod Podge or PVA glue that we sometimes use in, in collage. It doesn't spread out. And so it, it leaves, it doesn't matter because it doesn't warp the paper, which is good. But when the paper gets wet, then it does. Um, it, it, the air that's trapped under there, that's what was coming up. And bubbling and so one of the things that you need to remember when you do collage is to use the same glue on all of the layers and I you know I hadn't done that and because I had kind of come back later and that's part of the reason why it was bubbling so um, anyway Karen and I were having this conversation let me get my other things out and let me just think okay the next layer that goes on is up here in the corner um and and sometimes when it when it dries as i mentioned before sometimes when it dries it can um it can kind of grab and 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 help but um putting the other the other thing I wanted to mention is when when we collage we change the weight of the paper so we have these different weights of paper like tissue and card but we also have you know the foundation and so you can see as I'm applying this glue and the, and the wet it is you know it can't help but warp whatever is underneath it and sometimes and that changes the weight so there's more weight now on top 
of this layer than there is on the back of the layer. And, and sometimes it helps to go back and put some glue and weight on the other side too, because then that evens the sandwich and, and it, it helps with the warping. Um, we'll see how this ends up drying, but, um, that's, that's why with, when I do a heavy collage on one side, I will always, or sometimes, put papers on the, the inside cover as well, because then that helps balance the warp. Okay, next layer is this one, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the doily over this. So, let me put a little bit of glue here and then this is so this was one of the digitals in the the kit this is just some scrap of paper um, okay now I have to get on my tiptoes so that I can see where this is actually kind of a hard design because I have to have everything straight um, lining up on the with all this text and there are obvious um, there are obvious lines and so I'm kind of funny sometimes I like to be wonky and sometimes I want to be straight this is this is a more um, organized collage today and so I you know I want there to be this needs to be straight it needs to be straight with this one and that one yeah I hope it's not crooked and it's a little bit hard to do when I can't hang over it and see all right now now I'm gonna put uh, this doily on before I put the the focal point on Anyway, so Karen and I, we were having this conversation about, about um, the bubbling, and I just wanted to let you know that I did manage to get that to look a little better, and thankfully Karen's project worked out too, because she put an extra layer of glue on the top, which obviously changed the weight enough that it helped out so that was good so this one let me just put a little bit of glue on the back I got my paper over here all right now once again onto the tippy toes This beautiful uh, image is from the kit. Strawberry sunshine. All right, and then I just made this little strip. Um, I'm just gonna put down here. it over here so what I like to do is just make these layers that kind of overlap touch each other get all the air out of there Just two more elements and we're done. I uh, 
am going to town today. Yay, it's not town day. And um, I'm going to go investigate where I might find one of those uh, new silicone. Like, it's like a, a paddle uh, brush. Um, it's not a brush. It's, it's like silicone and... I've seen people using it, and it just looks really fascinating to me. And so I'm going to go see if I can find one of those. I'm on my way to Albuquerque today. This is just going to go here in the corner. Yep. So I'm hoping I can find one of those. Because I think that would... That would help me. So you see how with this brush, I have to smash because I'm trying to, to smash air out. Oh my gosh, that moved that. Um, but the bristles are not, not that sturdy. And so um, let's make sure that that is straight. Yeah, pretty good. Anyway, I think one of those um, brushes might might help might help me push things, kind of push air around. And then I wouldn't have to use, you know, this card. So, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, let me put the plastic, the lid back on the, the paint, and I will just. Okay, plug your ears, give this a little bit of a, a dry, and then we'll take a look at it. I hope it's straight. Oh my gosh, you just never know. Let's take that out now. Oh yeah, I like it. It's looking good how I wanted it um, no bubbles well maybe a little one there oh. so sometimes yep there's a little wrinkle there sometimes when it's kind of dry on top but still hot I can Sometimes smooth those wrinkles out. Yeah, that's that's not going to be a problem, I don't think. It's still kind of wet down here. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this uh, before I went to town was so that it would dry all day while I'm gone. The light is not great because it's early morning, but um, thanks for being patient with that. So when I say going to town, um, it's 50 miles, because I live in the middle of nowhere. One of these days I'm going to take you out and show you where I live. It's a beautiful place. I, it's beautiful. And I'll show you the sheep. We just had some lambs born. And um, so maybe next week I'll do a video where we go out and look at the lambs. Okay. I think this is good, at least. Um, I am going to put an extra layer on this one, Karen. Yep. Just to kind of make sure that like this is washi tape I want that to make sure that that's down and um, yeah so I probably will put a final coat on this um, but here is the button that I'm going to use um, so that's going to go there and yeah, I like it yay thanks for spending time with me I hope that was interesting and um the next video, I will have this finished and we'll do a flip through. So um, just to remind you again, this is Stacy's Stories. 
um, Strawberry Sunshine on Etsy. Thanks so much.